We got called for a three-year-old stuck in an apartment, so they'll dispatch us in cases of medical, and then they'll dispatch the ladder company to force entry if that's what's needed. Car nine on scene. Hi, hon. Hi. How you doing? I'm not so good. Where is she at? Right up here? Hey, he's right upstairs. Third floor, second floor? Um, second floor. Right here, hon? Yeah. So no spare keys, nothing? Inside, not only. I went to get the pizza. Car 9, call ladder company. Maybe a hallock in a flathead. 9 0 8 Any medical problems with her? Yeah, she's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There you, there you go. go. Big breath. Good breath. Big deep ones. Not so fast though. We'll slow it down, okay? Good job. Jace, you ready to go to the hospital? No. no. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. We can go in an ambulance. Mom will be with us the whole time, okay? You want mom to carry you out to the ambulance? Yeah. Jeez. Can I put this on you like this and then put the strap over so I don't have to hold it? Yeah. Can we do that? All right, perfect, buddy. That's a great boy. Go ahead, pick him up. Thank you. It's not gonna hurt. It's just a little strap. There you go. You got it? Can you high five? Yeah. All right. Oh, you said he had a fever? Yeah. He had a what fever. was the last fever you got? What uh, was the, last the last temperature was like 102, but it went up to like 104. That's how long ago it was. That was a day to day. A day to day? Yeah. Did Tylenol fail? Um, I did give him Tylenol. He is feeling better. We're going to take him down to the hospital and get evaluated. Uh, Cruz did a good job here with uh, having a, a child. He was actually really calm, which is a good thing to start with. Uh, but we all have kids. We all know how it is. And so our crew's really good at keeping the child and the family reassured, keeping them calm. This is a big deal, but we're not going to get everybody amped up over it. And he's going to be feeling a lot better soon. All right, we're heading to a possible drowning of a four-year-old female. Mother found her uh, in the water. And right now, the notes say that she is uh, breathing, but mother's concerned for her uh, well-being. Yeah, that's not great. So, Hi. Uh, so what we have going on is, uh, I'm sorry, how old is she? Four. She's four? Yes. So, and what's her name? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yes. Hey, this is Brooklyn. She's four years old. Mm -hmm. She was in the pool, it sounds like with her siblings. Yes. And then like, she got pulled off a raft and went, went down under the water. Did she lose consciousness at all? Did she, did she go limp at any time? She, no, it's just her. Her face looked like it was turning blue, like right here. Okay. Did and she cough up any a lot of fluid at all? Huh? Did she cough up any fluid? No. All right, I'm gonna see your lungs, all right? Are you in any pain? Take a deep breath. Yeah. Does that hurt? So her lung sounds are clear. Okay. The only thing we would worry about is she did inhale any water. Yeah. Her lungs will start to get irritated. She could have an issue. We call that as a dry drowning. Uh, I would recommend be a senior physician if anything happens or you're concerned. Um, if, if we do leave, well, I, I, we are here. I can take her down to the hospital, have her evaluated. They will probably just monitor her for a couple of hours. Do you like unicorns? Yeah. She's my unicorn. My daughter princess. likes. My daughter likes unicorns too. I think was. His daughter likes unicorns too. Okay. Yeah. I always tell her I'm you a good? one. Matt. Good. Yeah. What would you like to do? If she's okay, then. Okay. You're gonna be able, you're gonna be able to watch her and keep an eye on her for a while. Okay. And if anything changes, if it, anytime you feel concerned mm -hmm. at all, call us right back, or go right to the hospital. Okay. And no more swimming. Okay, not today. Okay. We'll be this little, guy. little break. Thank you guys. You're Make welcome. Sure you I have a form here for you okay. to sign. You don't have any floaties. floaties? We'll get you some floaties. Okay? But be careful when you're in the pool, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I don't want to repeat what happened. This is for her. Say thank you. You're welcome. I think that should fit her. Yeah, let's see. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, wait, no, Yeah, there you go. All right, you keep your head above water, okay? Oh, yes. Thank you, guys. You're very welcome. Bye, five. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, I'll see ya. Thank you, guys, again. Well, a two-year-old locked in a Hyundai eating sunscreen. Uh, the things they will eat. Yummy. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a banana boat, hopefully? <laughs> Something coconutty. Uh, should be a uh, right hand turn right, right here. Oh, yeah, PD's down there. We probably park right here, Dana.
don't know. He's still locked in there. He's still got the bottle. She's saying he drinks. He's having fun with some lock. And I almost had a heart attack. Mom's main concern is, is that he's snacked on a bunch of that sunblock. He just drank the whole bottle of sunblock. Poison control said that sunblock not okay. poisonous. Okay. If anything, it'll just upset his stomach and that they're going to call back in an hour to see how he's doing. Okay. They said just keep an eye on his behavior. A little bend in the half, about half of it. The other fireman said, "Now my back window is UV protected." Got it. Yay! Oh, hey! Oh, hi! <laughs> How are you doing? So he's acting like he normally should and things stuck. like that. He said stuck. Oh, he's stuck. stuck. Yeah, he got stuck. You were stuck. Yeah. Oh. He knows 10 words and one of them is stuck. All right. All right. Stuck. Yeah. Thank you. Thank so you so much. So how was he doing? Thank you. No. Thank you. So we got information saying that he was eating the actual yeah. sunblock. Has he eaten much of it at all? Yeah, he ate about half, half of that too. He's moving around. He's really active, which is always a good thing to see because he's not unconscious. doesn't look like he's starting to fall asleep or looking drowsy. So it gives us a, a better suspicion as to, okay, he may be all right. All right, and he's acting normal. Yeah, he's acting normal, so. Can I get a high five? Because of the fireman. High five? Fireman. Okay, that works too. Can I get a high five? He's showing your fire truck. There you go. If for any reason it becomes more than just an upset stomach, just give us a call back, all right? Thank you so much. I, I almost had a heart attack because I thought it was poisonous, so I thought he was locked yeah, in there. Yeah, I was going to say, usually it's something like that. It gives absorbent in the skin and into the body a little bit, so you'll yeah, be high up. high five. They saved your life. They saved your life, so thank you. <laughs> he was eating some of his sunblock, which, you know, is that something that we normally ask for them to eat, or, but kids are going to be kids sometime. <laughs> ready to go. He's a future firefighter. Ring the bell. I got to ring the bell. There you go. You look great. Ultimately, he's doing good. We already made sure poison control was called because that's another concern. As long as nothing else is going on, you know, let him stay with mommy and let him go about his day. Thank you so much for coming so fast. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Copy behind, Aqua. All right, we're going to get out and try to search for this little boy. The, uh, the family is out searching for him. This happens quite often, honestly. Uh, kids wander off, they get lost, and then the parents kind of get really worried and freaked out, but we're gonna try to appease the situation quickly. I need to hop in that AC. Yeah, right? Y'all see a little boy? A little boy? Yeah, a little boy, uh, green shorts. Uh, green shorts, moles on his head, uh -huh. Hispanic. All right. His, his family's over here. If you see him, just send him this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah probably just wandered off playing. Okay. I thought that was him right over there. They yeah. Oh, he's got a shirt off. He said Spain, right? Yeah. Spanish. Oh, they're, they're all Spanish. Black and green shorts. No shirt. About eight years old. Yeah. You the mama, right? No, I'm the auntie. Okay, there's there's life going. What does he look like? He he's eight years old. Okay. He's wearing a black and black green, and green. Black and green shorts. About how tall? Probably like. About, about that. Tall. Okay. Oh, Where was he last seen? Huh? Where was he last seen? Right here. He came to us and grabbed a coke and he just walked that way. Was he? Does he know anybody down there? No. He just walked that he way. He just walked that way. How old is he? He's eight. He's eight. About how big? No shirt. About how big is a mole? Like, like, like a birthmark or yeah. a sample? So he's an eight-year-old male. He's got a birthmark on his temple. 
He's got black and green shorts. He was last seen. He came back to uh, the tent, grabbed a Coke, and he walked this way, probably exploring, maybe playing. Hopefully, we'll just run into him and turn him back around. Hi, y'all. Have you seen a, a, a small Hispanic boy with black and green shorts walk this way? No, we seen a smaller one that had swimmies on earlier. OK. Um, yeah, I just went all the way down to the yeah. next seat of rental, and nobody's seen anybody. Nobody's seen way. anybody. Out of that description. OK, we're trying to help the parents locate him. Yeah. He's eight, eight years old. He's got a birthmark on his temple. Gotcha. If you see anybody, send him back this way. Wow. OK. Thank you. All right. Multiple missing children today. What did you just hear about this here? I guess, I guess somebody was holding another little girl that's looking for her family. This is a very common thing that happens on the beach. Families come to vacation. They're relaxing. The kids are playing. And, it's, and it's, it takes two, one or two seconds to lose track of them. Another missing one. She's looking for her family. Yeah. Hey, hey, mama. What's your What's your mom look like? What's mommy look like, honey? What, is she, what color is she wearing? What color bathing suit does she have on? The black one. A black one. A black one. Do you know Do you know where or what What direction they are in? Where's mommy? Can you point? You no. Know? Point for me. No. Show me which way mommy is. It's okay. Hey, hey, calm down. Show me which way mommy is. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna help you. We're gonna help you get to mommy. Show me where she's at. That way? Okay. Okay, all right. Come on. Let's walk this way. Thank you, man. Oh, oh, right there. Right there, right there. Look. I got the Nathan. Where? Guy in the white shirt. The guy in the white shirt. He was, he was just waving. That's not him. That's not him? That's not him. She has black hair. She has black hair. But she's talking about mom. Do you know him? Yeah, I know him. Do you know him? Do you know him in the white shirt? Oh. That's not, my dad. That's not your dad. Okay. okay. That's All someone right. else. All right. <laughs> you got to find your mommy, honey. It's okay. You're okay. We're going to find her. Okay. Is is mommy with daddy? No. No. Right, Who's... So they found the little boy. Okay, perfect. So he was waving for me. I apologize. Hey, buddy. Are you, are you okay? What happened? He said go all the way around. You just started walking off and then got lost. You didn't go swimming and get in trouble at all, right? You're OK? All right, well, we found you. All right, well, we're going to find her. Thank you. All right, man. I know that was scary. How did you get away? All right. Do you girls know that little girl? All right, we found the boy. The father found his son. Uh, he walked a good ways. We've probably been walking about 150, 200 yards. So that the little boy must have got lost, got scared, and just kept going. But we're, we're glad we got that situation under control. Now we have another one. And uh, we're going to look for her mother. Her mother uh, is wearing a black bathing suit. That's all we know so far. Oh, Oops, sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Look, 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 look at him. Look at him. Say hi. 
Wave so mommy can see you. It's okay. Hey, keep keep looking. Let us know if you recognize any anybody, okay? All right, good news from bystanders. This happens a lot. We're asking questions. We're asking people to look, and, and, and then word spreads, and then people start waving and call us in. Okay. Thank you so much. Man, was she swimming? No, she was chasing the birds. Chasing the birds. I looked down at my phone for one second, and when I looked yeah. up, I went that way. Yeah. I mean, one second I I is all. Far. Yeah, yeah. One second is all it takes, but. Luckily, like this does happen a lot. Bystanders help, we all help each other out, you know what I mean? Ah! What? <laughs> what happened? What happened? What all right. Happened? The patient's been reunited. The mother went the wrong direction looking for her child, and that's where the mistake happened. Child got lost, started wandering, probably away. But they're all back together. They're crying out of joy, and hopefully they're going to do a much better job being having eyes on them. All right, we're going to head back to the truck. All right, y'all. Ma'am, th thank you again for the help. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad y'all got your help. Thanks, man. Thank you for having me. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.